There are hundreds, maybe even thousands of stories about planes that have gone missing or have mysterious crimes committed while passengers were on board. Some cases will eventually be cleared up after years of research, but others may not ever be solved. This is likely true for the sudden disappearance of Santiago Flight 513 in 1953, though the plane mysteriously returned 35 years later. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Disappearing Planes When a plane vanishes without a trace, there are dozens of things that could have caused it. It's usually assumed that the plane crashed in a remote area, such as a mountain, a desert, or even in the sea. This is because it's super difficult for a plane to land somewhere off of its course without being noticed. Often, after years of research and patience, parts from this plane may wash up on shore or be found in remote areas years after the presumed crash occurred. However, that is not always the case. Researchers spend years and countless hours searching for clues that can help lead to resolutions in cases like this, but sometimes the cases simply remain unsolved because there's no evidence left to go on. Santiago Flight 513 it was September 4, 1954, when a Lockheed aircraft was getting ready to take off in Germany. The plane was scheduled to leave Germany and arrive in Chile, located in South America, just a few hours later. There were 88 passengers on board, and the crew consisted of just four more people. This was a completely ordinary flight and nothing unusual took place before the plane took off. After all, flights like this were taking place multiple times per day, every day this time of year. All of the passengers were ordinary people, and there was no additional cargo on board that would cause anyone to be concerned. It's difficult to state how normal this flight was, but by all means, there was nothing extraordinary about this flight in any way. The weather was clear and uneventful, but just a few hours after the plane took off, it vanished without a trace. The plane had been soaring over the Atlantic Ocean at the time, so many people assumed that something had gone wrong and the plane had crashed. But there were no emergency calls that were placed by the pilot and no distress signals were received either. Everyone was wondering what had happened to the flight, but no answers would be found. All 92 people who were on board the flight that day were pronounced dead. The event was tragic, but plane crashes are not unheard of. So what made this flight so interesting? A strange aircraft on the radar. It was the afternoon of October 12, 1989. This was a normal, mundane day at the airport in Porto Alegre, Brazil. However, an unidentified aircraft popped up on the radar. Air traffic control did their best to contact the pilot of the aircraft, but they never received a response. Considering the airport was quite busy at the time, the plane circled the airport multiple times before it eventually touched down when the runway was clear. Since the crew on board the aircraft were unresponsive, the airport sent a team of security workers out to the runway to inspect the plane before the passengers were allowed to exit. As they made their way onto the runway, the workers were left breathless. They couldn't believe their eyes. The side of the plane read Santiago Airlines, but this airline had been shut down since 1956. They also noticed that the aircraft was a Lockheed Super Constellation. Even more fearsome was the flight number 513. What further took the workers by surprise was that the aircraft looked as if it were brand new. It showed no signs of age and looked just like it had when it had departed the airport in Germany 35 years ago. Unsure of how to proceed, 
The security team decided to open the doors of the plane and go inside. What they were greeted with caused their hearts to skip a few beats. Inside of the aircraft, they found dozens of passengers, all secured in their seats. However, all that remained were the skeletons of the 88 passengers who were on board the plane all those years ago. As they made their way to the cockpit, they also found that the crew was skeletonized as well. To make the discovery even eerier, the pilot's hands were still gripped tightly to the controls. Keep in mind, this incident occurred in the middle of a normal day when other planes were coming and going as usual. Management had no idea how to proceed, so they did their best to cover up the story until they could figure out what was going on. When news companies inevitably found out about the plane, headlines would read, Flight 513 has landed 35 years late. The public would not find out anything else about the flight, opening the doors for all sorts of conspiracy theories and wild stories that would circulate for years to come. The Brazilian Government Cover-Up Members of the public were extremely disappointed that the government would not allow more information to be revealed. No research results or explanations were released, meaning the local citizens had to come up with their ideas of what could have happened to the people who were on board the plane. The government only issued a single statement that claimed the plane had landed 35 years late and they never bothered to explain anything further. Rumors began to circulate that the government had conducted all sorts of tests and employed researchers to do their best to explain this odd occurrence, but these investigations would never be publicly revealed. Countless people would protest against this, including a renowned physics professor, Rodrigo de Manja. He said, This case could change our entire view of the world and science as we know it. He added that it would be a crime against humanity to not explain what had happened to these people and make this information public knowledge. He concluded, The public has a right to know the truth, and the government has a duty to clarify it. Another scientist, Dr. Celso Atello, said that the only possible explanation would be a worm hole or an unexplained opening or gap in space and time. He said that if a plane were to fly through such a wormhole, it would likely send the plane and its passengers traveling to the distant future, unaware of what had just happened. Many people believe this theory and claim that the government is withholding information to avoid a riot or revolt. Dr. Atello says that denying the truth is no better than lying to Brazilian citizens. Throughout the years, many have questioned how plausible this story truly is. Brief research into the topic brings up a Snopes article that dismisses the story as untrue. Snopes claims that the story is purely a work of fiction that was published in the 1980s to sell more tabloids. The researchers say that the story was likely sparked by the 1961 episode of The Twilight Zone titled The Odyssey of Flight 33. We have to admit, the episode tells an eerily similar story to what happened on Flight 513, but it doesn't explain the witness reports that have popped up over the years. Snopes says that the story was published by a fictional tabloid named Weekly World News. This tabloid claims in 1985 that Pan Am Flight 914 had disappeared 37 years before, but suddenly reappeared in the modern day. This flight is most likely a work of fiction. But Snopes says that the story is almost identical to the story of Flight 513, though the publication only changed a few names around to create a more compelling story. In this new story, key differences can be seen, such as the inclusion of 92 passengers who passed away and the airline change, now claiming that the plane belonged to Santiago Airlines. 
considering there is so much misinformation out there about this flight, we don't know for sure whether this story is true or if it was made up by a journalist who wrote for Weekly World News. Either way, events like this could happen, according to Albert Einstein and other scientific researchers. This also wouldn't be the only time a plane like this disappeared and reappeared later. Traveling through wormholes Wormholes like this date back to Einstein and his extensive research in science and mathematics. He hypothesized that holes in space and time like this could exist and that tunnels could easily connect two points in time. He theorized that if we were able to locate one of these holes, time travel could be possible. However, the effects that this would cause would be completely unpredictable. If we were able to manipulate these holes in time and use them at will, it would make traveling from one place to another almost instantaneous. Many scientists have described this as being an abbreviation in space-time, opening up all sorts of possibilities for the future of planetary travel. High-level scientists, including Stephen Hawking, believe that these holes do exist, but we have yet to find conclusive evidence for this. Holes like this could explain the many occurrences of aircraft that have gone missing and suddenly reappeared at a later time. More Cases of Disappearing and Reappearing Aircraft Flight 513 would not be the only time an event like this occurred. Take, for example, the case of Flight 727. This story takes us back to the 1970s. National Airlines Flight 727 was just about to land at the Miami International Airport when things started to go wrong. As the plane was about 10 minutes from touching down, it disappeared from the radar and the communication tower lost all contact with the plane. They tried desperately for about 10 minutes to contact the pilot, but he was unresponsive. Everyone at the airport became so concerned with the fate of the plane that rescue personnel were called and were ready to head to a wreckage site. By all means, it seemed as though the plane had malfunctioned and would soon crash to the ground. However, just as quickly as the plane lost contact, it popped back up on the radar again. The pilot and co-pilot acted as though nothing was out of the ordinary and claimed that nothing had gone wrong. The radio control tower asked them what had happened for the last 10 minutes, but the pilots had no idea what they were talking about. They couldn't explain this apparent skip in time. To make things even stranger, all of the clocks on board the plane were 10 minutes behind. Stranger still is that all of the passengers' watches were 10 minutes behind too. The only possible explanation for this loss of time would be a wormhole, but scientists and researchers have been unable to explain this strange occurrence after all this time. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.